processing the last five days with the loss of someone you were so close to? Uh, it's been tough. You know, just trying to be around my family and uh, teammates as much as possible. Uh, just remembering him, telling stories about him and doing different things like that. Uh, you know, and just not try to run away from it, but just try to embrace it and uh, talk about, you know, what I'm going through with the people close to me. Do you have a story about Decky or something he would always tell you? Uh, <laughs> no, Decky was a, he was always joyful. He was an extremely nice guy, but he had a, a nice way of being brutally honest. You know, we would have our uh, pregame talk before every game. He would let me know uh, uh, how I was playing. And, uh, you know, one I always, always remember was uh, you know, his English wasn't always the best, so he didn't know how to, you know, sugarcoat anything. And uh, any time I wasn't being aggressive, I wasn't rebounding or boxing out, he would tell me don't uh, – it's a cuss word, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it, but don't be, don't be soft. And, uh, you know, he would say an explicit word, though, and uh, <laughs> I would always tell him, you're the only person I let talk to me like this. <laughs> uh, so he was always a guy that, uh, you know, he made my job a lot easier. I try to take pride in coming in and having a positive attitude and energy. And the days that I would come in uh, feeling a little down or negative or upset about my play, I would see his face and like, man, all right, he's always happy. He, he kind of, you know, was, uh, you know had, always had a positive influence on me. Steve just dropped the MF in here, so I think you would have been okay if you could. What was today like for you? I mean, Steve said that you guys watched the tribute videos coming out of Belgrade, but as someone who worked one-on-one -on -one with Decky, I saw you were shooting on a different hoop than, than normal. How was today for you? Uh, it definitely was a little, a little different. You know, uh, you know, it could be all fun. You just kind of forget about it when you're at home, but then you got to come to work and – and uh, got to get a whole new routine, uh, a whole different, you know, vibe to practice. Not not having him here, you know, he was an integral part of our team, an integral part of my day to day routine. So uh, it's definitely different. Uh, you know, seeing that the tribute from the they did it over there in Serbia was a, uh, uh, it was a, uh, you know, it gave me chills to see that. You know, he was a super humble guy. I kind of knew. That he was really, really good, but to see the way they celebrated him and honored him, it kind of changed my perspective. Like, all right, he was, you know, he was kind of, you know, sugarcoating who he really was over there. Now, he didn't ever like talking about himself and his accolades and what he did. Uh, and I had to kind of do my own research and ask the players about how good he was. So, uh, to see him get honored like that is uh, is amazing. And uh, hopefully, we can, you know, it's gonna be tough to live up to that, but hopefully, we can do the same thing in memory. He was brought here to work with. Big men like you. What's right. the biggest lesson that you've learned from him over the, the two two seasons that you worked with him? Uh, just a more of a mentality. Uh, you know, not settling for just being average, being elite, being great at something. Uh, you know, I had my best two years of my career playing uh, under his coaching and uh, getting advice from him. So, you know, the things that he taught me, I'm going to continue to carry on over. You know, and pass over on to Trace. He's working with all of us. So, Dario, you know, we're going to keep. You know playing the right way, playing the way he would want us to play. Uh, but it's a lot, of, a lot of things I learned from him that uh, you know, kind of you know, maybe these last two years special for, for me. You know, uh, We was able to win a championship together. His memories like that you'll never forget. Kevon, um, my condolences to you. When you think about, you just mentioned wanting to play right for Decky and wanting to carry on his legacy in that way. It makes sense to talk about the basketball element, but from a life perspective, off the court, how do you want to honor Decky and what he all he taught you? Uh, like I said, he was always a, a positive person. He came in, he never – even if he had a down day, he wouldn't show it. He came in, uh, he was su super positive, always full of energy. Uh, he was a nice guy, but he wasn't a nice guy. <laughs> like I said, he always he's always honest. He was always truthful. Uh, he was somebody I, I can always go to and say, hey, Hey man, uh, what you think about this on and off the court? Uh, he will always have advice for me, and that's something I want to be able to do: to come in and work uh, and be that be that same positive, uh, joyful energy. And I, tr I try my best to do that already, but uh, you know I kind of had help having him here. But just trying to carry that on that uh, you know that it's a it's a blessing to be here every day, and be a, it's a blessing to be able to come to work and uh, you know do something that you love. And you know, uh, so I'm trying to honor him that way. Lone, what was that first couple of days like for you? Because I know the team was obviously in a really kind of a shocked and um, this, this distress state. What was it like for you those first couple of days, and where are you now? Uh, the first couple of days was more of a shock than anything. Uh, you hear it's an emergency, you don't know what's going on, and uh, uh, 
so it was more of just a, a shock and then come through with a lot of pain. Uh, you know, the next last couple, last couple of days just been a, lot, a little weird, just reminiscing, you know, trying to surround yourself with love and family. So that's what I've been trying to do uh, to come in here and, you know, getting some individual work and some practice with, with the guys. You know, it's weird uh, not having them here, but it's also just nice to have, yo, you know, the guys that you go to war with every day uh, supporting you. And we all in this together. It's not like we all had to suffer just by ourselves. So uh, it, made it, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. It's something that we got to keep dealing with. It's something that is still fresh. But uh, as long as we stay together, we'll be able to, you know, heal. How would you describe Decky to someone who never met him? Uh, I would describe him as a... He was just so positive and joyful. I, that was the first thing that I, I would use to describe him. And he's really truthful. Uh, those are the three things that, uh, you know, he was truly authentic. He was, wasn't trying to be nobody else. He wasn't hiding who he was. Uh, every day you, you walk in, he was he was positive. So I would just say he's a, a positive, authentic person. And, uh, you know, he, and he was a teacher. And he's somebody that loves to teach. Uh, and he loves to spread his knowledge and his love. Earlier you used the word weird to describe the last couple of days. Yeah. Very unusual to obviously have an eight-day break, you know, extraordinary circumstances. But how do you, as as you start to turn your attention back to basketball, how do you sort of get back going for Wednesday's game, get, given this lo unusual long break? Uh, we just take it day by day. Uh, like uh, basketball is is the fun part of our lives, getting on the court and competing. Uh, that's what we. Uh, that's what we all here as a family to do. Uh, Something that brought us all together, and, and we, through basketball, we was able to build different type of relationships and different type of friendships with different people. So uh, I'm looking forward to just be able to get to the game and just be able to play. Uh, I know it's gonna be weird to build up to it, but I just want to be able to get back on the court, trying to get lost in the in my love for the game, and uh, you know, and think about all the memories and teachings that he, he gave me, and just try to honor him that way, best way best way I know how. So I'm looking forward to the games and. Uh, you know, get some level of normalcy back uh, will be good, but it's going to be tough and you just got to take it day by day.